Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about four different important terms that come up in DevOps slash SRE interviews. Um, the first one is toil. Uh, you will be asked what toil is and why it is bad. Toil is any manual task that you have to do over and over again as a DevOps or SRE person. It takes away um, your time and effort, and it is prone to human errors. So that creates even more work. So toil is that kind of work that is manual and repetitive and prone to errors. Those toils, um, so how do you get rid of it? So it's basically you eat, you, you eat the elephant by, piece by piece. You um, take one, one type of toil and you try to automate it so that ne next time you can do it through automation, not through toil. And slowly and slowly, if you do enough of these things, toil becomes less and less part of your day. The second term I want to talk to you about is, well, the, 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 there are three terms that, that come together. The SLI, SLO, and SLAs. SLIs are service level indicators. SLOs are service level objectives. And SLAs are service level agreements. So they are basically a journey through measuring your application's performance. So the SLI, SLIs, indicators, typically uh, in developers would put in some kind of instrumentation in their code that exports out metrics about the services. For example, latency or um, a number of errors or number of successful requests and so on and so forth, or, or maybe how long it's taking to get the backend responses and whatnot, or what, the, what one, uh, maybe what kind of HTTP code we're sending out, so on and so forth. If you're capturing those things either through coding uh, by your developers or through some kind of tooling like Datadog or Prometheus or something, those are service level indicators. Uh, typically, in, the, they, in these days, they kind of come automatically with your code or some kind of tooling. Now, based on that, you decide which metrics are important to you as your measurement of the performance of your application. So you pick a few of those and you set objectives internally within the company. Those are called service level objectives, meaning we want to have, for example, we want to have latency time uh, under five millisecond, milliseconds, 95% of the time. We want to have the error rate be less than 1% um, over the period of few hours and whatnot, right? So those are objectives that you set with the stakeholders within the company. The service level agreements are lower than that. So for example, if the SLO is four nines, maybe your SLA is three nines. So you tell the customer or potential customers, my agreement with you is we're going to have this level of service measured automatically by us and we will give you dashboards or we will give you reports of how well we're performing. You can measure it yourself through API calls and whatnot, right? So that gives a potential customer a high level of confidence that your service is gonna be good. It also gives your existing customers confidence that your service is gonna be good going forward. Not only that, if, you are, if your SLOs are much higher than the SLAs, you can put these things in written agreement in, in that, that, you, that, that your customers sign so that it becomes part of your contract with the customer. And if you ever breach that SLA, then there are financial liabilities that you can um, offer up to the customers, which should never happen because your SLOs, your, your internal measurements should objective should already be much higher than the SLAs that you set with the customers. So these are the four terms I wanted to talk to you about today. These terms do come up in DevOps slash SRE interviews. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. I will see you in the next video.